السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Our lecture today is about reviewing the principles and it's the four, uh, fifth lecture in CLT. Okay, we still have only one lecture to complete this method and to inshallah will be uh, the last lecture in this course. Okay, so let's start with the re reviewing the principles with the first question. What are the goal of teachers who use communicative language teaching the goal of the teacher to enable students to communicate in the target language this is the most important goal for the teacher to enable their students to communicate in the target language to do this students need knowledge of what of linguistic forms meaning and function they should know the form of the language okay the form of the language the meaning of the words and the function, how they use language in different functions. They need to know that many different, many different forms can be used to perform a function and also that a single function can often uh, serve a variety, a variety of functions. Okay, so they, have, they, they should know the different function of the language. They can use different words, for example, or different phrases or different sentences to achieve one function. And one function can be achieved with a different uh, form of the language. They must be able to choose the most appropriate form. Okay, there are different forms you can use. So student, students should be able to choose the most appropriate form. As we studied in the experience that when they, when, when they talk, for example, the teacher told them that you are employees in one company and one of you is your boss. So they have to choose the most appropriate form form to talk with their boss for example and when they talk uh, among or uh, with other uh, employees or other students in the class the second question what is the role of the teacher what's the role of the students the the, the teacher role is first facilitator advisor and co-communicate the teacher is a facilitator to facilitate communication in the classroom in this role, one of the uh, teacher major responsibilities as facilitator is to establish situations and to prompt communication, okay? To establish situations that encourage students, that help students to communicate and to use the target language in the classroom. During the activities, so the teacher is advisor. Advisor, that means what? To answer student question and monitor their performance. Okay, as advisor, the teacher will answer the student question and to, uh, to monitor, to see, to observe their performance. And he is also co-communicator, engaging in the communicative activities along with the students. He may participate with the group, he sit with them, he communicate, he initiate their, their communication and help them to to go on in their uh, communication. Question number three, what are some characteristics of the teaching learning process in the CLT? Okay, the most obvious characteristic of CLT is, the, uh, is that almost everything is done with a communicative intent. All the activities, everything in the class is done with intent, with communicative intent okay so I mean to communicate students use the target language a great deal through communicative activities such as games role play and problem solving task all these tasks that the teacher create help students to communicate or a great deal of communication in the classroom activities that are truly communicative according to Morrow, uh, Johnson and Morrow, okay, have three features in common. Information gap, choice and feedback. And I want you to, to read on page uh, 123, okay, to get more information about these three information gap, choice and feedback, okay. It's important to go back to this page and to get more information. Okay, another characteristic of CLT is the use of authentic materials. Why authentic materials? 
it is considerable uh, desirable to give students opportunity to develop strategies for understanding language as it is actually used to know what is the 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 actual the actual language used okay and to be able to uh, not only to use the language inside the classroom but they should be able to use it outside in real situation activities in clt are often uh, carried out by students in a small group a small numbers of students interacting are uh, favored in order to what to maximize the time allowed to each students to uh, for communication for communicating so activities in CLT are often carried out by small groups they work in small groups to maximize to give uh, to give opportunity for each students or to give um, more time for each students to communicate to use the the language uh, communicatively what is the nature of students uh, intera uh, student teacher interaction what is the nature of student student interaction the teacher may present some part of the lesson he is the facilitator of the activities and he is the co-communicator but more often establish situation that prompt communication between and among the students uh, the teacher is facilitator as we have studied before as, as we have discussed in the previous point the teacher is facilitator co-communicator and advisor but the most important thing that the teacher should establish establish situation that help students to prompt communication that helps students to communicate okay that encourage students to communicate in the classroom students interact a great deal with one another and the students communicate interact use the language okay with each other when they uh, are according to, to the uh, situation that the teacher established they do this in various configuration maybe they work in pairs in triads some group uh, small group or whole group so all the the activities in the class all the tasks are achieved by, by students and they should cooperate with each other and they cooperate they cooperate communicatively they communicate they interact with each other how are the feeling of the students dealt with the teacher gives students an opportunity to express uh, their individuality by having them share what their ideas and their opinion about the different topic about a situation the teacher uh, create or establish in class so students are given the opportunity to talk about their opinion and their uh, uh, ideas students enhance their knowledge by the many opportunities for cooperative interaction with their fellow with their fellow students and the uh, teacher so students knowledge will be enhanced when they communicate when they interact with the teacher when they interact with the other students i mean their knowledge will be uh, developed when they communicate when they use the target language with the teacher and with other students number six how is the language viewed how is the culture viewed language is for communication okay so language is viewed our language uh, first and foremost is for communication linguistic competence the uh, the knowledge of form and their meaning is only one part of the communicative competence so to know the form and the meaning is only one part of communicative competence because communicative competence depend on four competence linguistic competence discourse competence sociolinguistic competence and strategic competence so to know the form or to know the structure to know the grammar the meaning is only one part of communicative competence the learners need knowledge of forms and meanings and function to be communicatively competent so they have to know the forms the meaning and also the function all these things students should know to be able or to be communicatively competent 
And what about culture? Culture is the everyday lifestyle of people who use the language, okay? So it's about the lifestyle. Everything about lifestyle of people who use the target language. Number seven, what areas of language are emphasized? What language skills are emphasized? Language function might be emphasized over form. So mo the most important thing is the function, to use the language to achieve function, okay? Typically, through uh, all the not always, a, function, a functional syllabus is used. A variety of forms are introduced for each function, okay? Different forms are introduced for, for one function, so students can choose which is or which, uh, which is the, the best form that they can, the most appropriate form they can use. Only the simple form will be introduced at first, okay? So at the beginning, when the students just only started studying language, so only the uh, the simpler form or the simple form will be used, but as students get more proficient in the target language, when they are most proficient, when they know, when they can use the target language, so the functions are reintroduced and more complex form are learned. When they uh, became proficient in the target language, so the uh, new form or the uh, form are reintroduced and with more and complex form that students sh should learn and should be able to use. Students work with the language at the discourse and super sen sentential level, okay? That means they, they use in, the, uh, in its uh, higher level, okay? because they should be able to use it uh, uh, in the different situation outside the classroom, not only in the classroom. Students work on all four schools uh, from the beginning, just as oral communication is seen to take place through negotiation between the speaker and listener. So they work on the four, on the four uh, different skills of the language listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So from the beginning, they work on the these four skills and they try to develop them. But the most important thing is, is speaking because they have to communicate in the target language in the different situation of their life. What is the role of a student's native language? A student's native language is permitted in CLT. Okay, so it's permitted, it's allowed, but the target language should be used not only during communicative uh, activities, but also for explaining the activities to the uh, students or in assigning homework. So uh, the target language is not only a subject to study, but it's a vehicle of communication. That means it's always used, for example, to give instruction for students. When the students ask a question, when they answer a question, so it's always the uh, target language. The students learn that the target language is a vehicle for communication. That means they have to use it when they ask question, when they answer question, and they have also know that the teacher will only use the target language when given instruction, when established situation. So the native language is, is permitted, but it's, uh, but the target language take the, the, the main role in the classroom it's the language of communication, it's the language of instruction, it's the, the language that students should use to ask and to answer questions. So it's not only a subject to study, but also it's also a vehicle for communication. That means tool for communication in the classroom. Okay, what about evaluation? How is evaluation accomplished? A teacher evaluate uh, not only his students accuracy, but also fluency. Okay, so the teacher will not test the students, for example, uh, accuracy to master the form, the meaning, the grammar, but also their fluency in using the language. The students who has the most control of the structure and vocabulary is not always the best communicator. The students who know the grammar, who know the meaning, who know uh, everything about language are not, are not, always the best communicator because communication is different, okay? 
students need to be uh, able to communicate to, to use the language appropriately and correctly. A teacher can evaluate his student's pe performance informally in his role as advisor and co-communicator. The teacher can evaluate his students when he when he acts as advisor and co-communicator, when sit with them and uh, listen to their communication and help them to communicate, and when he observe or uh, and give advice and answer the student question, so he can evaluate his students. For more formal evaluation, a teacher is likely to use uh, an uh, interactive, uh, integrative, sorry, test, uh, which has a real communicative function. The teacher can crea create or can establish situation, communicative situation to, to evaluate his students communicatively and his uh, students' fluency. In order to assess a student's writing skill, for instance, the teacher might ask the students to write a letter to a friend. In order to test their ability in writing, so the teacher may ask them to write a letter or email for their friends. Number 10, how the teacher, how does the teacher respond to students' error? Error of uh, form are tolerated during fluency-based activities, students-based activities. So, error, are, uh, error of form, okay, in the form are tolerated and are seen as a natural outcome of development of communication skill. So, errors are tolerated when they are in form. Okay? So, uh, during the fluency, when they communicate, when they use language, when they interact in the target language. Because why these, why the error are tolerated? Because they are seen as natural outcome. Okay? Natija tabi'iyya of the uh, development of communicative or communication skill. Students can have limited linguistic knowledge and still be successful communicator. Uh, maybe they are they have limited knowledge in the language but they are they are can be seen as successful communicator. The teacher may not the uh, errors the teacher may write down the errors okay not the errors during fluency activities and return to them later with accuracy based based activities okay so the, during the um, fluency activities the teacher may not okay write down the the errors and then come back to them when they work on the accuracy based activities okay so this is our lecture for today and thank you so much and still we have one lecture to finish with the clt thank you and hope you all the best.